Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and in my last video I showed uh, an issue that I had with a battery that wouldn't sit tight into the uh, Mavic 2 Zoom. And as you can see this one fits in just fine and this one fits in just fine but this one uh, he doesn't want to fit in. He, in fact he's got edges around here where it's not all the way down. And that's because, as I said in my last video, it might be just the battery. So, um, in the next section, we're going to look at uh, the differences between these and this little bulge here. That little bulge is what causes it to not want to sit all the way in. Is the battery any good? We're going to find out by the end of this video. And there's a lot of very important information that I recovered and uh, I guess you could say I knew it was there but I you didn't use it until I needed it to find out if this battery is any good so anyway stay tuned and we'll get started this is the battery that would not stay uh, easily plugged in okay uh, so and also it's numbered it's got a little dot on it there that would be number one this battery here is number two all right and uh, so remember I, in the previous video I said it could be the battery. All right, so if you look across the top of that, you can see that uh, it's pretty flat. Whereas, if you look across the top of that, there's a little bit of a crown. All right, let me put this up there. You can see that that goes, uh, it rocks on that. I'll put that one down, we'll go back to this one and there's a little tiny bit of a crown there but nothing like on the other one okay so i got to thinking okay well from what i know about the old bebop batteries um that thing is is worn out and it's got a bad cell in it so then i i uh did some uh, i'll put i'll put the results up uh but first i'm going to go fly with this battery in the morning and see how many minutes I can get out of it before it gets down to uh, like 10% or something. So uh, I'll go check see that because uh, if it is getting old, well then it sure won't uh, give me as, as long of flights as it did when it was new. So I'm gonna go take that out in the morning and uh, fly it and we'll see how long I can get out of it. And I, I know pretty much how long I can get out of, the, out of a good battery and so uh, I won't I won't run that kind of a test, but we'll see if this one has uh, has gotten old enough that it has decided that it just can't handle it. Uh, generally, when a when a battery swells, uh, it's because it's been overheated or overcharged. But when you see the video of me uh, testing out flying it when it was un when it was discharged, all the every cell in there, all four cells are just within. Uh, thousandth of a, of a volt with each other and, and I'll show you that so it's not like one of the cell is dead and the other other three cells are okay uh, it they're all balanced the balancer inside of these batteries in my opinion I'm learning more about it but uh, is excellent so uh, anyway um, I'll go fly it in the morning with this one and we'll see what kind of results I get as far as how long it will fly all right so we'll wait until we get that done and we'll finish this video up. All right, here I'm taking off this morning and um, I'm going to uh, come out a little ways after I get taken off here and adjust things and uh, then we'll take a look at the battery. And unfortunately, the uh, screen recorder that comes with my Apple uh, phone and tablet, uh, it gives up before the the end of the flight. I don't know why I should have used. I've got one that I downloaded. But anyway, so I'll show you this much and then uh, the rest of the flight is not available as far as looking at the battery. And uh, so I flew around and flew around and flew around and we'll see the results here pretty soon. And right there you can see that underneath each cell it's showing you the uh, voltage and it's staying pretty close uh, within, you know, a hundredth or a couple of hundredths of uh, of a volt and uh, that's the last one we get to see <laughs> so anyway and then uh, I went a little further and the next thing I know the screen recorder quit 
So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go to the authoritative uh, results and take a look at them. Okay, here we are at Air Data. Now, if you're not familiar with Air Data, I've got a video that I put up, uh, well, quite some time ago on how to uh, get it downloaded and how to use it and all of that. So um, if, you, if you're familiar with it, that's great because it's a real handy tool. So we're going to go up and we're going to go up to My Flights to begin with. And we'll assume that uh, we've already, uh, you're already signed in and everything. So for this flight where I'm going to be looking at my batteries uh, and seeing how they're, or my cells of my battery, we're going to look at the flight that I did this morning, which is September 7th. So we'll click on that. And here we have uh, a map and some information on what my battery levels were as he, uh, as he flew around, and then also uh, the battery level at different points in a list here, plus the warnings and the tips and so forth that came up. So uh, that's, that's the map. But what I want to do is go to the HD Flight Player, okay? And I've got it set, let me see in settings here, I've got it set to go four times as fast because uh, it, it records something every second that, uh, uh, that the flight is taking place. So I've got it set to four times. So uh, it's going to go uh, a fourth of a second, all right? Now, <clears throat> if you look over here, cell two uh, has a little bit of yellow. That's an indication that... Uh, for some reason, it's got uh, 0.016 volts difference from the rest of these guys, all right? So we're going to go ahead and start the flight, and you can see over here is assisted takeoff, motor start, and all that information. Here's cell 1, cell 2, cell 3, and cell 4. Our uh, GPS connection, our altitude, our barometric, barometric pressure altitude, and our sonar altitude, and our speed, and the distance from home, and our battery information. So let's go ahead and start my flight. And by the way, there's my drone up there at the top. And uh, I'm going to fly up and down the, the uh, wash like I always do. <laughs> and uh, just I'm just burning the battery down is what I'm doing. So here we go over here on the left, and we'll hit start. And it's going to go pretty fast. And you can see that uh, in taking off, cell 1 and cell 2 uh, are, or well, cell 1 mostly, is uh, cell 2 is showing uh, some yellow. And uh, this is the, d the total deviation over in this column here. But uh, cell 2 is showing some, some weakness. And uh, uh, so as we get going, now I'm starting to fly up here. And so you can see that uh, the deviation for a few seconds there is nothing. And uh, now I'm going, I'm going down the draw. And cell 2 still shows some weakness. Uh, not a problem. It's still... Uh, <laughs> it's still within a tenth of a volt of all the rest of them, but um, the recommendation for the yellow is when this gets uh, point, uh, point zero one zero or more, then it shows it shows yellow. So, so far we're doing fine. We've been flying for four minutes. We're up here. We're coming down the, the draw, and there I got over 30 miles an hour. So that was that, that uh, the red, the pink stuff that came up. And now cell four is starting to show some weakness into the flight. Uh, we're, we're five minutes into the flight, and it's showing some weakness. But just going along, and every once in a while cell two shows up, but cell four is starting to get weaker and weaker. Now, you'll notice that this 3.9 uh, cell three and 3.9 cell four, still good strong, only this is a warning, this is a caution, that cell four is beginning to get old and weak and uh, so now I know uh, to keep my eye on that battery so uh, we're going through the uh, we're at eight minutes and uh, we're coming back down uh, the well we're not coming back down the draw let's just jump ahead a little bit here and now we're to 10 minutes okay and you notice so, uh, cell 4 is finally beginning to get a weak getting weak now it's still within like 3.8 and 3.8 this is a warning to tell me that, hey, it's dropping faster than the other cells. And so I know cell four is probably the one that's beginning to get a little puffy. And uh, so now we're at 11 minutes. 
Let's jump ahead a little bit. For Oh, by the way, over here in the corner, notice the sticks. It shows how I've moved the, uh, the control sticks. And uh, so then, let's see, let's jump ahead a little bit. Now we're at 14 minutes and 15 minutes. And it looks like I'm headed back to, to land the drone. And so uh, cell four is, is getting tired. <laughs> All of these are at 3.7 and he's at 3.6. So cell four is, is weak. And uh, that's good information for me. So it's coming down to uh, 16 minutes. Let's jump ahead. And now we're down to 17 minutes. And looks like I'm coming over to land. Yes, zero speed. So I'm just... I'm just a little bit uh, above, well, it looks like I'm just about ready to land anyway. And you'll notice the barometric pressure uh, is different. It's really weird. And the sonar uh, uh, altitude is accurate. And the, uh, the reason I fly, when I fly below sea level or below the takeoff point, it always messes up the barometric pressure. It doesn't know how to handle it. Okay, now I'm down to 20% total battery. And uh, right, I'm just sitting still, so... Cell 4 is doing just fine. Doesn't have a load on it, although there went, there went a yellow spot. So uh, just, a, 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 just a good thing to have to use to see why is that cell getting, um, why is it getting, you know, why is it puffed up? Now you can see that I actually finished down here at the bottom, you can probably see it, uh, 21 minutes of flying with that battery that was puffy. So, uh, and a lot of the last minute or so was probably just landing, but still a good battery. But I know now that I need to keep an eye on it. So uh, let's go back. I want to show you something here. We'll close this up and we'll go over here to power right there. And this shows us I went uh, 24 minutes and I went actually went three miles, 3.28 miles. And now we're going to go over here to cells. And uh, you'll notice that uh, cell four ended up being the one that was de deviated from the rest of them more than more than uh, the others. Doesn't mean it's dead; just it's still in the green, but uh, it did have problems. And by the way, that cell or that the serial number for that battery uh, ends in a Z zero. Let's go down to another battery. Let's see. Let's do this one here. And uh, this is another battery. And look at there; he had trouble. He had a lot of trouble with cell two, and that's that's a battery that ends with five zero, the serial number. Let's go down to this one here, and this is this is the one that ends with four three. Now four three also has a problem with cell four. I think cell four is probably the bottom one, which is uh, the one that's. Uh, now this must have been a long flight. I don't know how long that flight was, but anyway, um, uh, cell four is uh, right, I'm sure it's right next to the body and it gets a lot of heat while it's flying. In fact, if we want to see, um, do, 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 do. let's see, is it there? No, let's go to sensors. That's eh, not going to help us. Let's go to general. Mm. Uh, somewhere in here. Oh, we can go to battery and then we can go to um, uh, cells no that's not where I go anyway if I look around enough oh there it is the temperature of the battery from the time the total temperature of the battery from the time I took off until the time I got uh, on this particular date uh, it was got up the battery got up to 126 degrees and that's pretty warm um, so anyway um, this is just a real handy tool and if you've got it, use it. You know, if you're a Mavic uh, 2 or Mavic, any, I think any Mavic uh, drone, as a matter of fact, uh, you want to keep track of how your battery cells are doing, this is the place to go rather than flying around the park. <laughs> so anyway, I hope this has been helpful, the entire video. Yeah, I learned a lot, and I want to share it with you. And I want to thank you for watching, and God bless.